From the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City, you're watching The Press Row. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Barry Trammell. Time for our NCAA Tournament Edition of We Pick 'em, brought to you by Harry's TV. Barry, let's get right to it. Let's start with the National Semifinals played on Saturday. Louisville takes on Wichita State in the first one. Who you got in this one? Well, I mean, I'd, I'd be really tempted to pick Wichita State if the Shockers were playing Michigan or Syracuse, but they're playing Louisville, and I think Louisville's shown to be the best team. I think it's going to be tough for uh, Wichita State to match up with that Louisville pressure. Uh, I'm going to take the Louisvilles. Yeah, I'm taking Louisville on this one as well. They're my lone remaining Final Four team from my picks uh, from when the, the bracket was first let out, so I'm going to stay with them. But, yeah, I would love to be able to pick Wichita State. What a great story back in the Final Four after many years and one of those mid-majors that we so like to see make it to this point. Wish I could pick them, but Louisville's just really playing well right now. All right, Michigan takes on Syracuse in the second national final. Barry, who you got in this one? Well, I, I'm just taking a flyer on Michigan. I don't, you know, I think Syracuse could win easily. That zone's playing really well, but Michigan can shoot it. They've got a bunch of scores. They got McGarry inside. They got Trey Burke outside. Uh, they got Robinson. They've got uh, Hardaway. A lot of players on that Michigan team. They're playing really well. Uh, the game they sort of had a, a squishy time with Kansas. They come on and uh, make the great rally. John Beeline's a big time coach. I'll take the Wolverines. Yeah, I'm going with uh, Michigan in this one as well. The Syracuse zone, I mean, that's going to be tough. It always is, but I tell you what, they've had a chance to scheme for it. I always think the Syracuse zone gets tougher on that second game uh, in, a, in a regional or a second game in, in the NCAA. You know, you, ha you don't have as much of a chance to scout and prepare and get ready. Michigan has had a chance to really get ready for that zone. So I, I like the way Michigan's playing right now. Thought at one point in the season they could be a number one seed. They had some losses that moved them out of that, but really one of the best teams in the country throughout much of the year. I like Michigan to play Louisville in the national championship game. All right, so Barry, that begs the question, who wins the national championship? I'm going to go with Louisville. I, you know, I love the team. I love the coach. Rick Pitino is a big-time uh, coach in, in the tournament. Um, they just they got everything going for them. Uh, Kevin Ware, injury notwithstanding, um, I just I think this is a uh, this is a tournament that just screams Louisville. Yep, I'm going with the Cardinals as well. They've played well throughout the tournament, uh, done done some really nice things. And I think you know you mentioned that Kevin Ware injury, Barry, and what a, and what an emotional moment for that whole team in the regional finals to see that injury, to see the severity of that injury, and for them to be able to continue to play well uh, despite that really shows some mental toughness. And we obviously see, you know, just how physically fantastic this team is with, you mentioned the pressure earlier. So I think you got to like the makeup of this Louisville team to win it all this weekend. All right, Barry, a couple more questions. What about most valuable players so far in this tournament? Who are you pegging for that? I think it's Trey Burke. Uh, the Michigan point guards played phenomenally, and the way we saw him shoot in the second half against Kansas in a, in a situation where he had to produce or they were going away quickly, uh, I think he's going to be the national player of the year. I think he's going to be here in Oklahoma City to, to receive the Oscar Robertson trophy. So uh, I think it's Trey Burke. I don't know uh, if he uh, gets a, uh, a national championship trophy. But I think he's been the best player and the most valuable player in this tournament. Well, I'm going all things Louisville in this uh, in this we pick him, and I'm going with Russ Smith. You know, a lot of a lot's been made uh, of Peyton S uh, Siva, the the guard for Louisville, fantastic player. But Russ Smith has been really fantastic for Louisville. Had 31 in the Sweet 16, and we found out after the game he was feeling awful, just sick and not not really feeling up to snuff. So for him to have that kind of game, he really drives that pressure, that pace that Louisville likes to play with. So I'm going with Russ Smith, Barry, but Trey Burks, he's, he was my number two pick. All right, lastly, let's look at the women's championship, Barry, real quick. Who wins the women's national championship? Well, I think it's going to be Connecticut because the world is a cruel, cold, dark <laughs> place. I mean, just when you get all fired up because Kim Mulkey's out, you realize this probably means Gino Ariema can win a national title. Uh, maybe the most uh, arrogant man in sport. So I think Connecticut's going to win it. I think it'd be fantastic if one of the upstarts, Louisville or California, got, uh, got the trophy. One of them's going to be there because they're playing in the semi, but uh, Notre Dame, UConn, maybe Notre Dame can knock off uh, uh, Connecticut. Not that Muffet McGraw is one of my favorite people either. She once threw me out of the Dayton Arena because I happened to walk across the court during one of her practices. But uh, I think Connecticut's going to win it. Feels like some uh, sour grapes there, Barry, a little yeah. bit. I wasn't not scouting Notre Dame's women, <laughs> I promise you. Well, much like I'd like to say 
that uh, Wichita State can beat Louisville. I wish I could say Louisville was going to win the Women's National Championship, but I'm going to go with, no with Notre Dame. Uh, they've played Connecticut three times so far this year, and they're going to play them again in the Final Four, and they've beaten them three times this year. Now, it hasn't been uh, resounding wins, but they've won every time, and I think they continue that winning streak. I think they're the best team left in the tournament after Baylor got knocked out, and I think they're going to go ahead and win the National Championship. But I tell you what, what Louisville did to Baylor changed the whole complexion of the tournament. I think it really did open it up for anybody that's left and so any of those four teams, if they win, wouldn't surprise me a bit, but I like Notre Dame. Harry's TV and Appliance has been family owned and operated for over 33 years. Go to Harry's and remember, you'll always get Harry as a friend. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.